We were talking about this a little bit in our workshops at Women at Woodstock East here about um, women who've tried to do it all, all of, all of us who've been trying to live the feminist life but realize that we might have left something behind, one of which might have been having those friendships. I think there are maybe a fair number of kind of loners out there who are now in their 50s or 60s and didn't have that same bonding that they mm -hmm. might have had in an earlier generation. What what kinds of things do you suggest for forming new friendships now if you don't have that posse, for example? Well, I think we need to form new friendships anyway because we are not who we were, only older. We are uh, experimenting. We are uh, uh, making fools of ourselves, playing. <laughs> I love the idea of playing. Um, and we have needs and interests that there's no reason our previous friends uh, would be able to answer. So I think you always need new friends uh, at this stage. And it's tricky. It's like uh, when we were wondering where to meet men, remember? Mm -hmm. And the advice always was go to a place where something that interests you is happening and other people who have that interest will be there and you'll make friends like the Transition Network, uh, which is an organization for women in transition. And people join to make friends and they stay because they make great friends.